Good morning everyone, it's day two here in St. Lucia and I am happy to say that the weather is starting to clear up a little bit. It's no longer raining and pouring. It's a bit windy but it's not cold so that's a good sign and the sun is trying to come out. I just want to tell you a bit more about this beautiful Elephant Lake Hotel. Um, they have many many rooms with a king size bed, beautiful a long desk actually with a really good workspace there's a tv and a coffee making station and then there is an ensuite bathroom with a shower basin and toilet and then we have this beautiful little patio where you would see in our previous video we had a beautiful lunch yesterday overlooking the pool and often there are hippopotamuses that come and drink from the pool but we haven't seen any yet and there is a beautiful restaurant on site here it is here and bar so you can pretty much have breakfast here lunch and dinner but at the moment it's covid so the restaurant isn't open but by the time that you come and visit here i'm sure it will be open now i think it's time to go downstairs and show you the beautiful pool and the amenities around here Just taking a stroll down to the swimming pool area they've got a really nice big l-shaped pool looks awesome just the weather for us isn't that great otherwise i think we'd be already lying down here for a couple hours in our free time we promise this weather is totally not normal it's just a cold front that has come in for the weekend and we got really unlucky but usually it is sunny hot humid and just beautiful weather down here so hopefully we can catch that weather tomorrow and show you so that you don't think we're lying and it looks like it's clearing up by next week so in the next three three days time it should be nice and sunny down here then there's this beautiful ground here i think we should explore it and show you a bit more let's go have a look very interesting here is a lot of the plants I've seen in Bali and Vietnam are here in St. Lucia I'll put a, a couple of pictures on the screen but we've also got palm trees and coconuts and the weather is subtropical so it's nearly the same as pretty much the whole of Southeast Asia this is such an interesting part of the country because you've got so many different biomes in one area we've got a bit of a sand dune that we went to yesterday there's a dense dense jungle behind me there's grasslands and of course there's the St. Lucia estuary. It's just unbelievable. The wetlands, the flamingos, the wild animals, elephant, rhino, crocodiles, hippos. It's just an amazing part of the country. We highly recommend that you come stay here at Elephant Lake Hotel because it's in such a good location. It is right in the main road where everything is. You've got shops, you've got pharmacies, everything you need and all the restaurants, all the bars. And then it is still in the beautiful nature. It's just really, really awesome. And actually right behind this is the estuary where all the hippopotamuses are and the crocodiles.
<laughs> we were just forming those thorn trees over there and one just poked red right in the butt. <laughs> Most tour companies will bring you down to St. Lucia for about two or three days. We highly recommend you guys spend a little bit longer than that. I'd suggest maybe five to seven days. There's just so much to do here. You can see something new on every single day. So if you do less than four days, I really think you'll be missing out on a lot of exquisite things to see out here. So yeah, keep it in mind if you are planning a trip to South Africa. And of course, in the comments, please leave any questions you may have about traveling around South Africa and specifically coming down here. We are happy to answer all your questions. Busy walking up to our room from the pool and I just spotted the biggest snail I have ever seen in my whole life. It is the size of my hand. Look at it. Excuse me, sir. Here's my fingers. Our country is just magnificent. Oh my goodness, golly gosh, we are about to do something so exciting. Oh